Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to add weapon icons to add on weapons in 5M. So if you're a weapon creator or you've added a weapon to your server that doesn't have a weapon icon, then this tutorial will show you how to add a weapon icon to your weapon. So here's an example of a weapon that does not have a weapon icon. This is the less lethal shotgun from the 5M forums. And you can see when I open my weapon wheel, it does not have a weapon icon. It's completely empty. All of the other weapons are fine. Uh, it's completely empty. If I scroll past it, you can see it's really buggy. It uses the last weapon that I scrolled over for the weapon icon. If I reopen it, it's empty again. It's very, very buggy. So first thing you're gonna want to you're, you're gonna want for this tutorial is a weapon icon. You can create one in Paint.net or Photoshop. Uh, I've created mine in Paint.net, but you can really choose any method to create it. You're also gonna want a program called FFDEC. That's a flash decompiler. That's gonna be provided in the description below. You're gonna want this hud.gfx file. This is the default GTA hud.gfx file. Um, you're gonna want that. Now, uh, this is a very particular file. This can really, really break your GTA installation. It can, um, it can mess up all of your weapons it can break all of your radio stations, it can do a lot. So you definitely want to keep a copy of this. You're also gonna want your weapon name and you're gonna want your weapon hash. I've made a tool and I'm providing it in the description below to get your weapon hash from your weapon name. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open the hud.gfx file with ffdec. You're gonna say no to all. And now that it's open, you're going to go into shapes, right click, add tag, define shape tag. Scroll down to your newly created shape tag. Right click it. Press replace update bounds. Scroll over and navigate to your weapon icon. Once you find it, click it, press open. And you're going to want to copy this shape ID 735. I'm gonna put that in this notepad over here. And once you do that, you can close out of the shapes. You can go into sprites, right click sprites, add tag, define sprite tag, scroll down to your newly created sprite tag, right click it, press add tag, place object to tag, click into it, go into the place object to, press edit, set the depth to one, Set the has character to one, or uh, true, and set the character ID to your shape ID. So that's 735 for me. Once you do that, you can save that and remember this, uh, this um, dis defined sprite tag, 737. I'm gonna copy this in here. And now you go up and you find the weapon slot that you want your weapon icon in. I want mine in the shotguns. So once you find the shotguns, you can go down until you see slot weapon and then the number. You can go into that, right click, add tag, remove object to tag, go into that frame, go into remove objects to, press edit, go into depth, type one, and you're done with that. Add tag, again, frame label tag, Go into the frame label, press edit, go into the string and type in INT in all caps and type your weapon hash behind it. Press save, go back into the frame, press add tag, place object to tag, set the depth to one, set the matrix to true has character true and set the character ID to your sprite ID. So 737 for me. Go into the matrix, turn on has scale, click out of it so it updates, press scale X and you're gonna want this to be around 30,000. I'm gonna set mine to 27,000, but you just wanna play around with it and see what works for you. Once you do that and press save, you're gonna see a little red thing right here. Press free transform so you can move it. 
and move it until you see your weapon icon. Once you see it, you can adjust it so that the weapon icon is in the full frame. If it's not in the full frame, that is completely fine. You can change it later on once you're in GTA and fine tuning it, um, or you can just leave it how it is. It's fine. It's not really that important right now. I'm just gonna get it right about there. I think that's good. Now you save that, and now you're done with this sprite. Now you scroll all the way down to others, press it, click it, and then do add tag, and you're gonna do export assets tag. Scroll down to your newly created export asset, press edit, right click assets, press insert asset at the end. I don't think it matters if you do it at the beginning either. For the UID616, uh, let's see, you're going to set that to your sprite asset tag. So that's gonna be the 737 right here. The name is gonna be uh, your weapon spawn code. So in my case, it's gonna be weapon underscore less lethal. Save that. And now you're done. Now you save the GFX into where your GFX was. Mine was right here. Save it. And now once it's saved, you should see that your date modified should change to the current time. Once you see that, you can restart your 5M client and restart your 5M server. You have to restart your 5M server for these changes to take effect. And once you do that, you can go into V menu, go into player options, weapon options, go into spawn your weapon, weapon underscore less lethal. Once you do that, you should see a weapon icon. Now you can see my weapon icon. It's hanging off the weapon wheel, but that is completely fine. Most of the GTA weapons already do that. If I give myself all GTA weapons, you can see you know, the big the, the big weapons, they already hang off, so it is completely fine that they're hanging off. Yeah, if you want more of this content, please like and subscribe. Uh, if I missed anything or you're having trouble, please add a comment below. Uh, all of the stuff that I've mentioned is going to be in the description, including all of the steps in text form. If you're having trouble, you can refer to those. That's what I was referring to this entire video. So you can refer to those. Um, also, a special thanks to Sadie. Uh, he messaged me on Discord a while ago, and he mentioned that he was having trouble creating weapon icons. Um, and I didn't really have any free time at that time, but uh, I helped him out, and we eventually got the weapon icons working perfectly without hex editing, uh, as you can see. And that is a lot. A lot of that goes to him. Like he really, really helped out in that situation because um, I didn't really know how to use FFDEC at that time. And so he was very, very, very helpful with that. Um, yeah, so that's really it. See ya.